It's June 1st, it's Friday, it's Feedback Friday here inside of the Made You Look Video Marketing Group. I can't believe we are four episodes in. Our group has only been around for about five, uh, five weeks, maybe six weeks if we're lucky. We're already over 1,100 members. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for engaging, continuing to engage, continuing to push the envelope when it comes to education, improvement, and, uh, and learning from our peers in a collaborative effort on how we can improve our businesses with marketing. Just a little spam note. I'm gonna spam you really quick. We are getting ready to drop our website. Hopefully, in the next week, I'm gonna give it 10 days. I'm just gonna say right now, fellow Major Look Video Marketing uh, community member Chris Langell with Advisory Vault has put together a, a custom site that is, it's exciting. I'm not gonna lie, it's exciting. But we're gonna use that platform to deliver content like this in a more consistent manner. We do this every week. We're gonna deliver more consistent content in the form of articles and blogs and, and more video tips and tricks and tools and tactics that you can use to improve your marketing. So shout out to Chris and uh, the spam alert is over. We're done. But you're here for Feedback Friday. And for those of you who are new to the Major League Video Marketing Group, Feedback Friday is a cool feature that we do, at least I think it's cool. We do it every single week here inside of the group. Here's how it works. On Monday, I put a post inside of the group. I'm asking for people to drop links to videos that they've made recently or whatever, and they're videos that they're wanting feedback on. And we break them down publicly on Friday. I watch them, I review them, and I break down publicly in a video that you're watching, how do we, uh, how, you know, we break down all the good stuff about the video, from production, to positioning, to messaging, to, to gear, to whatever. The, the, we break down all the things that I think you did well. Then we also break down the things I think can be improved upon. Why do we want to, why do we do that? Why do we do that publicly? Why do I take a video and break it down, and break down some of the negative things that, uh, or some of the things that could have been done better. Why do I do that publicly? Because you're probably watching this video or somebody's watching this video and they're seeing these, these videos on Monday and they're thinking, man, that's a really good idea. I should do something like that in my business too, right? And then, you know, you could see all the good things. You can like, yeah, that's a good idea. I want to copy that. But then you can also avoid maybe some of the mistakes now, granted, these mistakes were not knowingly made, but just little things that you can say, you know what, he's right, I don't wanna do it like that, I, or it, it spurs a different idea. That's why we do it publicly. Today, I get the honor and the privilege to break down one of my good friends, Mike Crowley from Syracuse, New York. Mike is an insurance agency owner uh, here inside of the group. He lives in Syracuse, New York. He's a huge Syracuse sports fan. And he does a, a weekly video every single week, kind of like this, but his is called Tip Tuesday. I almost forgot the name there. <laughs> uh, he does a video called Tip Tuesday where he gives insurance tips, right, to his prospects, to his current customers. And then every six weeks, he does a newsletter, a video newsletter, which is something that we teach and educate on how to do inside of our private course. I think another spam alert, uh, but he uh, he does a six week video newsletter where he distributes this again to his audience uh, to get the message out. And the videos are relatively short. Um, it, we're gonna break down kind of what I think went really, really well and what I think Mike should change or tweak. And I know he uh, he's confident enough to know that. Uh, now let me give you a little context about Mike. Mike, started shooting video probably, he's gonna correct me if I'm wrong here, but probably about a year ago, around there. And he started with just a cell phone. He, he went all in, he got a green screen, he got a lighting kit, and he started shooting video on his cell phone and started working, he went right into Adobe Premiere. And uh, it's been really, really cool to see his progression because he's, he's graduated from the cell phone video. Now he uses, I think, a Canon 80D. Um, and it's just really cool to see the progression, see the implementation of somebody taking next steps. Uh, someone who's serious about their business, serious about connecting with their customers, serious about you know living in the year 2018. So it's been really, really awesome, and I'm uh, really, really excited to see where he goes from here. But before we get into that, let's break down Mike's Tip Tuesday video. Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about three ways that you can save money on your car insurance starting right now. Let's get into it. The 
first way that you're gonna save money on your car insurance starting right now is to improve your credit score. What do I mean by that? Years ago, insurance companies decided that people with better credit score are usually better insurance customers. They have less accidents, they pay their bill on time. So they started building in the rates and the actuary started calculating that higher credit, lower insurance premiums. So what do you do now? Improve that credit score. Have your insurance agent rerun numbers once you know you've made a nice substantial change in your credit and watch the premium go down. Just a disclaimer, it's not a hard credit score that gets run when you run insurance quotes. It does not show up on your credit report, so don't worry that the more shopping you're gonna do, the more it's gonna affect your future credit. The second way that you are going to save money in your car insurance is Use an independent agent like us at Crowley Insurance. By using an independent agent, you get choices. When you buy insurance online, or do you, if you use a captive insurance agent, it is no different than going to the ice cream stand and then only having vanilla. I'm more of a black raspberry kind of guy. Independent insurance agents give you options. They represent a large number of insurance companies that allow them to shop their, your, shop their rates for you to make sure you're getting the best possible price without sacrificing any coverage. And the last way that you're gonna save money on your car insurance is by bundling your insurance policies together. We've been hearing it from years. Bundle, 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 bundle. It's true. If you combine both your auto, your home, and other lines of business together, insurance companies reward you. They give you high discounts and they favor those that have multiple lines of business with them. As always, I appreciate you listening to this week's Tip Tuesday. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, or if you want us to review your insurance policy, let us know. Go to CrowleyInsurance.com, and we'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks, and have a great day. All right, so, Mike, great job. Um, I got some I got some really good ideas for you uh, on the video, but let's break down what I think you did really really well. So I think that the concept is good. You know, three ways to you know t showing customers and consumers how they can save on their auto insurance. I mean, nobody likes to talk about insurance and price being really important, but it is. It's important to our consumers. Companies spend trillions of dollars apparently to hammer this message, and so everybody always wants to feel like they're getting a good shake. They're 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 in a competitive situation or a good situation, and people are always looking to save a couple bucks. I mean, who doesn't look, want to save a couple bucks? And so I think you did a great job with the uh, just the idea, the concept of wanting to get that message out on how they can save money with you. Uh, another thing I think you did really, really, another thing I think you did really, really well is I think that, uh, you know, your production with the green screen is actually really, really clean. I actually didn't know that you were on a green screen until I saw other things pop up. And so the way that you keyed that out with your lighting and, and blocking and masking and all that other stuff, I think you did a great job. I, I didn't know it was a green screen. I thought it was a, a different background. So kudos on that. Now, I know if you're like me, you're like, okay, Nick, great, great, great. Yeah, all that stuff. Just tell me what I need to fix. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. First off, let's start with your headline. Uh, and we've been hammering headlines a lot in a lot of these Feedback Friday videos because I think it's really, really important. I see here you have it on YouTube. I'm gonna assume you put it on Facebook as well. I would think of your headline for your video uh, almost like you would in a blog article. I know you do a lot of blogging as well. So you know the importance of a good quality headline. I think this will be great, not only for its searchability, but also for its click through. And here's the idea that I had when watching this video. If, if any of you are like me, you sometimes when you're, un, you're unaware of a product or a service, you know one of the things I do, uh, let's just take um, cell phones, right? Here's an example. Uh, you know, a cell phone provider comes out uh, and the first thing I do when I want to research is I always look up scam alerts or rip-off reports or things. I think in an effort to get your video a little bit more searchable on YouTube and Google, but also for its click-through rate, I might consider changing the title to something like scam alert or rip-off report colon Syracuse residents how Syracuse residents can save money on their insurance. Something like that. Hit them hard with a little bit more provocation up front. Rip off report, 
scam alert, change the title of your, of your, or the thumbnail of your video to reflect something like that. And then niche it down to either your state or your city, Syracuse or New York, right? Three ways Syracuse residents can save money on insurance. Rip off report, uh, three ways Syracuse, three ways New York residents are losing money on insurance. Something like that. You put that in, I mean, when that comes up in a search feature or, or you see, people see that online, people are gonna click on it. They're gonna click on it a lot more than three ways to lower your insurance premium. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really move the, move the needle much. Um, I'm sorry, three ways to save on your auto insurance premium. Break it down to a more niche focus geographically. New York, Syracuse, right? Uh, bring affinity to the people who are watching it. One of the powerful things uh, that get people to resonate and connect with your brand is to use affinity. And the affinity being your area, your state, your neighborhood, your zip code, however it works, right? Bring that in, people who are there are more likely to click on it, and then to use it a little bit more of a provocative title, uh, rip off alert, scam alert. that's an idea, that, 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 that is debatable, but I just know from my own behavior, when I see those things, I'm like, what's the rip off, I wanna know, right? <laughs> you know, because I wanna avoid that. And so I think that's, that's something that you can work on. Hold on, this coffee is way too good for me to just leave sitting here. Ooh, Ooh almost, almost spilled it. Okay, so the other thing that I would consider doing is, we talked about you using a green screen. Take advantage of the green screen even more. You've got great keen, meaning it's not even known that you're on a green screen. Take advantage of that more. Move yourself around. The other thing I would do is I would use a lot more titles. I'll be honest with you. I forgot what number one was when you hit number two. I forgot what number two was when you hit number three. And I think a way that you can avoid that is to use a lot more on-screen titles. So I think number one was credit repair because I had to go back and watch it again. So three ways that Syracuse residents can avoid being ripped off, you know, credit score or whatever, and bring that on the screen, leave it on there for a little while, uh, and do the same thing for number, number two, number three. Move yourself around on the screen a little bit more. When, you, when you're doing jump cuts already, so just move yourself. That's the beauty about using a green screen. Leverage that thing for more than just a background because you can get that background anywhere. So use the green screen to move yourself on screen more. Use it to bring in titles and pictures. Here's something that I want you to pay attention to. You may not agree with their message or whoever, people watching this, you may not agree with their, their conservative leaning. And that's, I'm not, we're not getting into that. But I want you to pay attention to the style of Prager University videos. I'm gonna put the uh, link, I'm gonna put a link down below for their channel. They utilize kind of the same method, right? They use green screen videos to educate. They use green screen videos to make, to lecture, to bring points. And their videos are kind of long, longer than yours, Mike. They're three to five to six to seven minutes long. But pay attention to what they do. Pay attention to the storytelling, but pay attention to how they move their people on screen and how they bring stuff onto the screen. It keeps the eye moving, it keeps the viewer engaged. I think following that example would be really beneficial to your videos. So again, leverage the green screen, bring titles onto the screen, keep people engaged with eye movement. Uh, I would, I'm not sure, That's good stuff. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good pot of coffee this morning. Here's another thing that I would uh, do. I'm not sure. I'm assuming you distributed this on YouTube as well as Facebook. I would run an ad locally to get more eyes on this video. I would run an ad on Facebook. I would target. And I can show you how to to set this up if you need help. I would target your specific zip codes. Again, if you break it down to, to Syracuse, if you break it down to New York, let's target your state, let's target your ideal client and the person who's more than likely going to need to watch this video. You know, married couple, age 35 to 47, uh, lives in these zip codes, etc., etc., etc. Let's target the people and let's work with a, you know, a provocative title and let's distribute this on a paid strategy to a cold audience 
with a strong call to action to a landing page or to your website. I would suggest a landing page or write a blog article with more information on this uh, and direct people there. But what you want to do is you want to have a strong call to action with a strong headline and I think that you can get, I think you can generate some really cool exclusive leads from this. I think you'll get a, a pretty good click through rate. Man, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm super pumped with your progression. Like I said, dude, you are killing it. You're consistent. You're improving. You're doing all the things right. I just think that we need to just tweak a few things stylistically. I think, man, you can, you can see some real lift in your engagement, in your connections with your audiences, more a cold audience. I think this is great for a cold audience uh, and get more people to get to your brand, get to your agency, get to your business, and ultimately, you can get to your bank. <laughs> so I like that, that world right on. Get to your brand, get to your business, get to your bank. Dude, that was, that was I don't, I like that. That was good. Anyway, this has been another edition of Feedback Friday. Every week we drop a link, post your video if you want feedback, if you want uh, coaching tips and consultation on the content that you create, and we'll do our best to hit them. If we don't get it to your video in one week, just keep posting it, we'll get to it eventually. I see them all, and uh, we'll go from there. You guys have a fantastic day. Feedback Friday is out.